Hello family, this is Gamers Forum back with another interesting video on Clash of Kings. So guys, if you're new to your channel, please subscribe around the business channel. If you focus on tips and tricks regarding Clash of Kings, you'll get all the necessary data and details of each and every event over this channel. So guys, in today's video, we are going to talk about the defensive formation or I'm going to explain each and every kind of defensive group that is being available in your castle, whether you are a P6, Max P6 or a P5 castle or below that one after watching this video you are capable of making a defensive choice for your troop formation which is being possibly very much uh, fairly connected with the defensive setup guys so let's begin the video with the t14 of the soldiers guys let's begin it so when we talk about the archangel soldier we know that these are a bunch of the extraordinary extraordinary soldiers which have the capacity of having some of the extraordinary powers and skills which is both for attacking and defensive purpose and one of the defensive soldier that comes in the t14 list is the t14 of the infantry or some other name the guardians or whatever it is uh, written on you can call it on but we used to call it basically as a t14 of the infantry so why it is used for the defending one as i am also using a, a defensive troop for my castle like this one you can choose out the perfect soldier which you want for the defensive purpose so basically the reason is that it is giving you a huge number of percentile of the defense and hp thing guys so basically if you have a, a huge uh, amount of the defensive setup or the defensive skills on the infantry like uh, attack defense hp and uh, damage reduction for the infantry if you have good count on that one then you can trust t14 of the infantry for sure in your formation for the defensive setup guys now let's move to the other soldiers that are going to be helpful for you guys let's start with the infantry troops guys when we come to the infantry uh, uh, for that we need to go for the barracks the best of the best defending troops for the infantry for uh, is going to be the t12 of the infantry guys t12 of the infantry is said to be the best of the defending troop because it is going to give you 191 percent of the defensive status as well as 68 percentile of the hp guys and the best thing about this one is that it is going to counter on the archers as well as its talent is very much good for the shield wall if you upgrade the shield wall talent in your uh, discipline hall then you are going to get everything uh, which is being capable for you to get on for the t12 uh, guys so whenever we are going to talk about the infantry t12 infantry is going to play a very important role in your formation whenever you are going to set up for the defensive one keep that in mind guys so use t12 of the infantry for sure in your defensive setup guys but there are so other options also for the defensive system for the castle which are p5 and below if you don't have t12 uh, troops guys then you can trust out the t10 of the infantry because t10 of the infantry is also giving you around 114 percent of the defensive percentile as well as 42 percent of the hp percentile in effect for the defensive setup guys and there is one more troop which is very much good and very much supportive for the inf uh, defensive purpose that is going to be the t7 of the uh, infantry guys because t7 of the infantry consumes 68 percentile of the defensive setup and 26 percentile of the troop hp setup for the defensive promotion guys so these are the three troops that you can trust for the defensive setup formation that is going to be t12 infantry t10 infantry and t7 of the infantry guys keep in mind that you can use or trust these three troops for sure for the defensive setup now let's move to the next type of troop that is going to be the archers guys when we come to the archers guys the best of the best defending archers will going to be the t11 of the archers guys why i'm saying so because it is a particular having extra of the defensive damage strength and the best of the skill that is being enhanced in the prayer hall is going to be the diffuse shot guys because it is very much helpful for the defensive setup and the defending percentile of the t11 of the archer is going to be 55 percent it is not bad for the archer unit it is the maximum for the archer unit for the defensive setup and 16 percent of hp is being provided at their scenario guys 
and now let's move to the another one if you are having p5 and below cast what troops that you can trust on for that one guys t9 of the archers can be trusted because it is going to possess out 49 percentile of the defensive attack as well as 13 percentile of the hp and it is going to be uh, to be helpful for the defensive setup again t7 of the archers can also be trusted for this particular scenario because it is also giving us 34 percentile of the defensive setup and 10 percent of the hp guys don't uh, think about the percentile guys don't compare out the there is some of the special features that every troops used to possess on and these are the defensive troops that i am mentioning in this video is having defensive capabilities that's why it is in this particular list and this particular list is being made by the professionals only guys so keep that in mind now let's move to the cavalry guys basically cavalry is known for its uh, for its uh, offensive nature that's why it's hard to get out uh, the cavalry unit for the defensive purpose but there is some of the cavalry troop that can be trusted for the defensive setup that is going to be t9 of the cavalry guys yes guys t9 of the cavalry is a uh, archer oriented and it is going to kill out the range archer units and it is a defensive one but it is going to be countered very hard by the infantry unit so keep it that in mind but the best thing is that this is a defensive type of troop of the cavalry so you can trust it on basically if we talk about the percentile of the defensive and hp it is going to possess of 49 percent of the defensive percentile and 18 percent of the troop hp guys now the another troop that is going to be trusted for the defensive setup in the cavalry unit is going to be t7 guys yes guys 34 percent of the defensive system is being supported by here and 13 percent of the hp out here guys so you can use this one but basically for the defensive setup it is hard that cavalry is going to defend on very well guys so for the offensive one you can use it but for the defensive setup it is not that easy to use cavalry in your formation guys so keep that in and do it on your own risk guys now let's move to the siege guys siege is having very much uh, good nature for both the attack and defensive system why i'm saying so because t13 of the siege as we know that there are two different types of siege uh, for the t13 unit one is going to be this one ground siege and it is having very much familiar defensive and hp system of uh, it is giving us 95 percentile of the defensive stats and hp by 42 percent and its weakness is the archers and it is used to counter on the infantry guys so basically it is very much helpful and the second siege is going to be this one it is a overall war elephant is a overall development type siege it is being used for mostly for both the offensive and defensive purpose so it is an uh, exception out here in our list guys so i'm not going to explain this one but t13 grown siege is very much helpful for the defensive setup you can use it out there guys now let's move to the uh, t12 of the siege which is also very much useful for the defensive setup because it is giving us 82 percentile of the defensive percentile and hp of 40 percent guys so it is also very much familiar on countering on the infantry troops and very much helpful for the defensive setup now the next troop for the p5 and below castle that is going to be t9 of the siege guys yes guys you can trust out some of the t9 units of siege for the defensive setup if you don't have t13 and t12 of the soldier guys it is going to be helpful for you at that particular one guys so i have covered all the four type of troops that is the infantry cavalry archers and siege i hope that you guys like the video information if you find the video information useful guys don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for sure and guys keep that i have told you everything about the troops please make formations accordingly don't focus on every troop basically you need particular layering troop layering is very much important so i must recommend you whenever you are making out a formation trust the troop layering for sure guys it is going to be helpful at that particular scenario very much guys so that's all of today's video thanks for watching and keep growing with gamers forum thank you guys